Hey, Zips fans, Chad Welker here for the Zips Digital Network. Had an opportunity to talk with head coach of the men's basketball team, John Gross, as he recaps two more victories in the 2020-21 season. The Miami victory down in Oxford on Friday night and the Northern Illinois win on Tuesday. Then he also previews the games coming up, Ball State and Ohio, this upcoming week. Well, obviously great to get two wins um, and continue to move forward. Um, I thought offensively this past week in both games, I thought we were really – Really good. Um, numbers were good. Ball moved well. Uh, we got contributions from a lot of guys. Timely shot making, good ball movement. I thought our transition game was good. Execution was probably a little better in the Miami game than the Northern game. But we you know, really um, put up some winning offensive numbers. I think we're trending really well there. My biggest concern is defensively. I thought in both games we weren't uh, you know, didn't play like we needed to play uh, on that end of the floor, and we don't want that to bite us and, and uh, be something that prevents us uh, from reaching, uh, you know, our full potential here uh, down the stretch. So that's our biggest focus right now is trying to get back to playing Akron defense and being a little more stingy on that end of the floor, a little more detailed, uh, play with a little bit more force and energy uh, at, at uh, both ends, not just the offensive end. Both of these games uh, actually, you know, were, were games that you had to take into that last media timeout, four minutes to go, and then really uh, execute correctly to pull a, pull away. Like it's you're in close games now. The experience that that does for your guys. Oh, it's been great. I, I think one of the things our guys have shown me throughout this uh, process of, of um, you know, as, as we've been growing and getting better, is just their resiliency. You know, and, the, and their poise and composure, they have a real strong belief in, I think, their ability to execute their, their individualized roles, the ability of our team collectively uh, to embrace some of those moments. Uh, I think our poise and composure has been great. Part of that, you know, I just, we, we've had some guys that have been around winning, and so that helps. We've got some experience there. We've got good guard play, good leadership in the locker room. But you're right. I mean, I think our resiliency and grit in those situations, and really not just in the last two games, but in some others previously as well, you know, has been outstanding and uh, certainly a good quality to have. Now, in some of those games, you know, I think if we played a little bit better defensively, we might not be in that situation, you know. Uh, but it's been good to see guys uh, uh, step up uh, when the situation dictated that we needed to do that. From the, dis the, the defensive aspect, Ali Ali – Greg Trimble, Enrique Freeman with his blocks, his defensive rebounding energy, those three guys defensively. Just talk about those three guys individually and how they performed the last few weeks. No, man, it's great observation on your part. Obviously, those three guys really impact the defensive end. They impact the offensive end as well. But you're talking about three of our better defenders. You know, Rike with his shot blocking and defensive rebounding and ability to affect the rim defensively. And then Ali and Greg, you know, as second-year guys, they were already good on-ball defenders. Um, now they've really started to master the, the system off the ball defensively and how we guard certain things and the different coverages we play and their ability to execute those details are huge. Uh, they're two of the best guys we've got in that in, in those areas and really add tremendous value by doing it. So, yeah, no question about it. Those three are super impactful defensively. Yesterday against Northern Illinois, you finally were able to have a few fans in Rhodes Arena. How nice of it, how nice was it to have? It was great. You know, I really appreciated people coming out and support. It was great for our players to have a few people in there, mostly obviously families and closest friends and and um, so we were appreciative of that opportunity. But I was really happy for our guys, you know, for that uh, to take place and really appreciate the people uh, that came out yesterday to watch us. Ball State on Friday. Uh, this will be a, a rematch, and they got some of their guys back. Talk a little bit about what those players are going to bring to Ball State on Friday night, and then you head down to Athens next Tuesday. Yeah, it'll be obviously a completely different game than game one. They've got uh, Thomas and Walton back. Um, you know, those are, uh, you know, two uh, key players for them. Uh, but, you know, they, they also beat Toledo uh, at home without Walton, their leading scorer, you know, right after our game here, you know. So, again, can't emphasize enough how every game is different. Uh, you have to play the game that's in front of you. The, game, the team that plays with the most force and executes the best and plays the best that night uh, will win, you know. So, you know, I think one of the things that's uh, tempting 
is to always look back to previous contests. And from a tactical standpoint, we all watch that film, and although we have the same players and same schemes and same systems, you know, the execution of those things and the energy level that is played with by both teams um, in c certain situations that you can control and some that you can't are different game to game. So we've got to be ready to play. You know, that's the bottom line. And uh, understand that uh, it's 0-0 when the ball tips, and we got to try to win one possession at a time. Um, it'll be a great challenge, obviously, with all those guys back. They've played some really good basketball at home, um, and so we'll be got to be ready to go. Then we go to Ohio on Tuesday. Um, obviously, they've got great personnel. Jeff does a good job with them. And um, Preston and Vanderplas are two guys that I've really admired over the last two-plus years and, and how good they are. And the thing that I think makes them even harder to guard now is the development of Dwight Wilson on the interior. Gives them a real low post presence. Uh, and a guy that's capable of consistent double-doubles. Uh, and then the development of Sears. When Preston was out, you know, he really took off. Uh, how solid uh, at both ends of the floor McDay is, how well Roderick shoots it, and then they get good contributions from guys that, that come off the bench for them. So, you know, they're very, very talented and a load to try to stop. Uh, you know, spearheaded, obviously, by the great point guard play of Preston. Thanks, Coach. And again, best of luck to the men's basketball team as they head over to Muncie. Indiana to take on the Ball State Cardinals tomorrow. That game is scheduled to tip off at 7 p.m. on a nationally televised game. CBS Sports Network is where you can find that game at 7 p.m. You can also watch the Zips take on the Bobcats next Tuesday on CBS Sports Network. Game time still yet to be announced. Follow back on Twitter, GoZips.com, to find out what time that game will be scheduled. For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker, have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend, and as always... Go Zips.